Page six now, California's Corona. The numbers are very positive in the once golden state. It doesn't take a trained statistician to see that California's Wuhan coronavirus cases have flattened and are probably on the downslope. Yet, this blue state governor and his political minions at the county and city levels are not easing their anti-constitutional decrees. In fact, they're doubling down on them. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, this is like my analogy is two trains on the same track headed at each other. And driving one train, we have President Trump, who's chomping at the bit to reopen the economy based on rational thinking. The other train is piloted by Cuomo and Newsom and this Pritzker guys and, 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 and Whitmer and Polis in Colorado and Inslee in Washington and all these blue state governors that are going to try and drag this thing out as long as possible. Mark my words, this is coming. Graham, it is not a secret. The Democratic agenda is to hold the economy under the boot of shutdown as long as possible. Some Democrats are being open about why. Other TV pundits are open about why. And it's all about the economy. If the economy is bad during the election cycle by the end of summer, the Democrats believe, and they're probably right, it'll be bad for Trump. And in the process, a hundred million Americans are having their savings destroyed. Yep. They have no jobs and their civil liberties are literally locked in their apartments with them. You've got a constitutional crisis coming. You're a hundred percent right. Does the supremacy clause take the day? Meaning when in doubt, the federal government rules over the states or are the states free to run amok? This has got to end up in the courts, and how will they decide fast enough, Graham? I, I, I don't even trust the courts, Barry. It should be we the people, but so many Americans have not been educated about the Constitution. And so you have this Governor Whitmer. I want you to listen to this. I want America to listen to this Governor Whitmer. Seven seconds of constitutional hell. Roll tape. All public and private gatherings of any size are prohibited. Like that. Think about the framers of the Constitution that enshrined in the First Amendment our ability to gather so we can talk about government and talk about possibly firing Whitmer and running her out of office, which I highly recommend in, in, in Michigan from what I've seen so far. But what this boils down to, Barry, is our federalist system. And the framers came up with a beautiful system in the federalist system, and that is we delegate power to the states. But this coronavirus episode may have exposed a fatal flaw in the federalist system where you have Newsom running amok. Graham, what's going to happen in two weeks or three weeks where President Trump says, okay, we were wrong. When I say we, the federal government, it was gonna be two million deaths, then a million deaths, then a half a million, then a hundred thousand. The current recommendation from the White House task force is maybe 60,000 deaths, right. which is equal to the flu this year, except 56 million Americans are projected to have the flu. In exchange for another flu of the same destruction, we are destroying the savings and the individual liberties, especially, as you said, the right to assemble in uh, the First Amendment. For what? Here, For what? Here's the it's topper. It's obvious this is now political. It's no longer about health. Here's the topper, Barry. You have Cuomo and the rest of them. Newsom's going to do the same thing. They're going to have their hand out to the federal government saying, hey, guess what? We're broke. We need a... <laughs> and who's going to pay the bill? Well, that would be you and me. Barry, thank you.